Tim and Mary Boyle, through this gift, are supporting our scientists to do work that will change the world. Tim and Mary Boyle are giving $10 million to advance the University of Oregon's pioneering use of zebrafish in research to help understand human development. It's the largest gift ever for the U of O's aquatic animal facility, considered a worldwide leader. The university has always had a um, terrific reputation as an educational institution, but beyond that, uh, it's important that the university continue its investment in research. Professor George Streisinger was the first to use zebrafish for genetic analysis in the 70s. Today, zebrafish are the key to discovery for thousands of scientists all over the world, and it all began here at the University of Oregon. We have a state-of-the-art facility, and this is going to enable us to continue to equip it and to continue to rear fish in it. And as we learn more about the basic mechanisms from basic research, we really can start to translate that into therapies that can be used for human populations. U of O scientists have strong partnerships with Oregon State University, Portland State, and Oregon Health and Science University. All rely on the highly specialized facilities that will be enhanced thanks to the boils. What we want to foster with this gift is aiding both the University of Oregon and its goals, as well as other institutions, including OHSU. We think this is an important part of the university that we'd like to support. The Boyle's gift ramps up Oregon's overall research capacity by helping pay for powerful new equipment. Working together, our biological imaging, our high throughput genomics facility, and our zebrafish facility will greatly advance the speed, the amount, and the quality of the research that occurs at the University of Oregon. Tim and Mary Boyle have been great supporters of the University of Oregon for years, and I'm proud to call them alumni of this school.